Hello and welcome, this is Jero, introducing the Jero Weekly, where I'll be playing one game weekly, and the weekly game of god knows how long will be the Elysium. and this is because, I guess, my buddy, the guy I like watching on Twitch, near daily, C-dub, Chris, whatever, um, this is his favorite game, and apparently I own for uh, playing 12 minutes for about, I don't know, 24 minutes? Uh, so I'll maybe play 24 minutes of Disco Elysium and then determine if this is even better than the other point-and-click adventure 12 minutes. I don't know, might be a close one, we'll see. Um, I decided I'm gonna play on hardcore mode. Forget tutorial, I haven't played this game at all, really. Um, I, I started it just to see how it was like and that was about it. Then waited for the voiceover mode full. So, definitely looking forward to actually playing this game out. Um, probably doing like 45 minutes to an hour a day or a week and I'll uh, see see how see how long it'll take me here so without further ado let's begin so I guess going through this here I definitely want to try and figure out if I can even game the system here um, and maybe that's a little twist here uh, rather than just simply enjoying the storytelling that I I've heard uh, great things about um, I'm not sure if there's like a better option here. I almost want to think like with most other uh, CRPGs, if this is too be considered a CRPG, I like to think physical is just like the, the the straightforward thing to do. You know, high health, big damage up front. Um, I'm not sure what this means in the context of a cyberpunk world, though. I imagine like be able to like maybe shoot guns. That be involved with Thinker? I'm not sensitive, very psychological and magnetic personality, but unstable. Extremely intelligent, very bad with people. Okay, no, I don't want that. I like being good with people. I like the sound of physical. Oh, I can create my own. Let's see, what, what does this look like? Raw brain power. Emotional intelligence. Muscularity, how strong you are, and how agile I am. All right. Hell yeah. Let's just min-max. Can we min-max this game? Like super agile, super physique. Yeah, that's great. Can it be strong and emotion intelligent? Does that exist in this world? I don't, I have zero idea. Raw brain power, how smart you are. The, this is the min-max version of, of, uh, I feel like I'm gonna need some kind of, like, skin, some other, like, some, some, some intelligence between one of these two, though. Okay, can a big dumb guy just make it in this world? We're, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Alright, set skills. Select your signature, signature skill. The skill you select will gain a plus one bonus. Additional learning cap for every skill of the same type will be raised by plus one. Oh, okay, so this is like, this is just like applied to all your skills here. Um, this feel, it looks very depressing. <laughs> so just look at all these and just see ones. I guess that's, that's what we're gonna figure out. That's dumb as shit. He's gonna be strong though. That reminds me of uh, when I did football in high school, and they just worked us out. And uh, the coaches always tell us we're gonna be either really smart or real, or we're gonna be really smart or or dumb and really strong. I like I like this idea, being dumb and really strong right now. Let the body take control, threaten people. Raise the hair and neck, tune into the city. Goes to the party planet, love and be loved by drugs. <laughs> Flex powerful muscles, enjoy healthy organs. Alright, this might be it. This might be one of them. Right, I guess only set one signature skill. Take the blows, don't let the world kill you. They'll have to hurt you. This is very close to the same thing almost. This feels more real and this feels more like kind of mental. Flex powerful muscles, enjoy healthy organs. <laughs> Sounds like a fortune cookie. 
Okay. I don't want to threaten people. We're gonna muscle our way through things. We're gonna have to threaten people to get through through this. Don't let the world kill you. I want to be an absolute unit. And I feel like this reflects being an absolute unit. A physical instrument. Set that signature. Plus one. Confirm. The Furies are at home in the mirror. It is their address. Even the clearest water, if deep enough, can drown. Jiro. Stole those. He stole my words. Oh. There is As nothing. Only warm, primordial blackness. Your conscious ferments in it. No larger than a single grain of malt. You don't have to do anything anymore. Ever. Never. Ever. That's hmm, never, ever, ever? Or simply keep on non existing? I kind of like this simply. Keep keeping it simple. An inordinate amount of time passes. It is only void of struggle. No ex wives are contained within it. Alright, apparently I must have an ex wife somewhere. Give me some more. You got it, sweet brother. Nothing upon nothing upon nothing. <laughs> How about you cough up some of that sweet, sweet oblivion? Coming right up, sir. Smooth passage. I love this brain. Get off now. No, no, no. We're gonna, we're gonna keep going. All right. Nothing town to fuck all, bro. Oh, yeah. Fuck all, bro. <laughs> Let's visit the ancient zero. Great home. choice, Elder One. It has always been like this, and it always will. Don't stop. Keep singing. Singing the song of death. The song of death is sweet and endless. But what is this? Somewhere in the sore, bloated man meet around you. A sensation. Like a fly to the ointment, your conscience sticks to it. The limbed and headed machine of pain and undignified suffering is firing up again. It wants to walk the desert, hurting, longing, dancing to disco music. Stop. I don't want to hear anything more about the sensation. Take me back to the formless disembodied nothing. The stench of liquor rises from your mouth. And with it, an ungodly headache. Oh, I've been here before. Who am I? What sort of creature does this to their own mouth? A fiery streak penetrates your skull. Trying to force your eyes open. It's a sound. A clarion call from hell. Dun dun. The sound of me opening my eyes. Definitely my post college days. With the tidy whities. Is that tidy whities? All right. I actually don't know all my controls here. So let me look at the controls real quick. Oh, simple. I like this. F1 help. All right. Let's assume I know where my F1 key is at. Movement character sheet inventory thought cabinet. Thought cabinet. Okay. Journal. Highlights. Yeah, okay, the highlight is very important. Right clicking is also a highlight. I'm really interested in the thought cabinet. The thought cabinet. Oh, is it all, is it all available down here too? All right, cool. Put some pants on. Put 
respectful people do. I check the bottle here. I need more. Commodore Red is empty, right? Check you the hear a jingle. Keys are clinking in the pocket of your flare cut pants. Let's fish them out. It says whirling in rags on the aluminium key ring. There is a single key on the ring. The number one is etched on it. It should open the door. Sounds good. Empty cassette tape, okay. Don't know what that's for. Looks like someone tore out of the tore out the tape while the song was playing, right? What's this then? This is real to real tape player still on rolling empty. Right. Put this I'm gonna is this some clothing? Yeah, it's shoes. Oh my gosh, one foot at a time. I always like being like zoomed out further. Let's check my, my window here. Not looking good. The window stands broken in its frame. Cold wind blows in. Look out the window. The morning light hurts your eyes. It's hazy, but you see the ocean and some war-torn buildings. Let's do some visual calculus. That's the damage. Low, 20%. The shards face outward. Hell yeah. Whatever broke this window came from the inside. A fine web hands? of scarring covers the back of your right hand, but none of it is recent. What did this then? More likely a projectile than a held object. There are no fragments on the floor from pulling a tool back in after impact. The size it of the is impact. too large for a bullet, yet too small for a piece of furniture. Oh, great. You're looking for something heavy and larger than your fist. Heavy, larger than my fist. The single green shoe you found fits the hole almost as well as your foot. It would have also been heavy enough if thrown with force. Uh, that, that's probably where my other shoe Congratulations. Went. You smashed the window with your own shoe. Now you only have one. If you're lucky, you could still find the other one on the balcony outside. The door to it should be outside your room. I should go and get that shoe. I don't need it. I don't need anyone. <laughs> okay, I don't need anyone. The window agrees. Its cracked smile is cold and sparkly. Oh, Jesus. Window is a thinking thing. Is my time going down? Words fail to describe how rank it smells in here. They should have sent a poet. Two bottles in the bathtub. Wine, beer, and sweet liquors. Alright, let's get the shirt on here. Nice. White satin shirt. A mirror hangs above a bent and broken sink. In a fierce discharge of masculine energy, someone has ripped half the faucet off. Jesus. Hot water Probably sprays from the base, and steam covers the mirror. You cannot see yourself, just the outline of a man. Suddenly, you realize you have no memory of the face that awaits you there, underneath the soft vapor. Wipe that As mirror. you slowly reach your hand towards the surface of the mirror. Let's get it over with. Wipe the mirror. Behold, you have no idea who this thing is. Do you? I don't recognize myself. This is the face of a late stage alcoholic. Too late. You clearly have rigor mortis on your face. Oh wait, is that an expression? Are you trying to make an expression with that face? My face. Why? <laughs> Not making it, the face is making it. Please itself. stop. It's horrible. You're scaring yourself. No. I'll keep making you the face. Can you? It's like it's not even voluntary anymore. You have worn that grin into your face, and now it won't come off. What does it even mean? What is the emotion you're trying to convey? It's an expression of pain. You are correct. Oh, fuck you. Oh, there's impossible and legendary. 
same percentage. Always loses, always wins. All right, guess we need to roll that 12. Let's dig deep into your mind to locate the source of the expression. Like the rest of you, it comes from a bad place somewhere <laughs> in the past. That's all you know for now. I guess attempt to force it to, to stop. It's too late. Like an image on film, the expression belongs to your primary motor cortex. It would take a minor neurological miracle for you to cease producing it. Let the mirror be for now. Here's a jerk. All I gotta say. A mirror hangs on the bathroom wall. Oh, all right, all right. But this is the mirror. Might be something else then. And oh wow, I didn't realize there's like WSD controls here. Their camera rotation. There's not. Okay. That's actually better. Ooh, let's get that mirror. Ooh, wait, mirror. Or, I mean, This fan. fan has two chain pull switches. One ends in a tiny fan, the other in a light bulb. A truly horrific necktie has somehow attached itself to one of the blades. Savoy Fod, I, I don't know French. Grab that tie. You reach out to grab the tie, but what's this? Diffuse, radiating chest pain. Doom comes over you. You can oh, take it. Sucks. Just breathe in slowly. Challenging success. Oh, I just auto pass. This is not a real heart attack. This is a joke. It's what? probably it's just your unit. lungs or your esophagus. It's a physical instrument. The esophagus does practically nothing. The blades come squeaking to a halt. It should be easier to reach the tie now. You swoop up and catch the tie. Okay, so some Snap. checks you can try more, it's more than once. from the blade. What you have in your hand is a truly hideous thick tie with four or five different patterns. The knot reminds you of a noose. On a light bulb. A terrible mistake. Oh. Turn the lights off immediately. You can practically feel the photons burning a hole in your brain. God, very vivid uh It's just a little hangover induced photosensitivity. Don't overreact. Bring little black spots dance on your retinas. It's almost pleasurable. Such imagery. Let's see what I got my this my inventory. This is from items. Conceptualization, Inland Empire. Suggestion. Okay. Got a mind that white and satin shirt is dragging me down here. Conceptualization. Okay, I understand creativity. So, is this necktie just holding me back? The Savor. Oh, it's from the. Look up what that is. Give me a second. I, I don't want to see this word like a thousand times and not know how to pronounce it. Savoir uh, Savoir Fair. Savoir Fair. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Google. Those green shoe looks like it doesn't provide me anything, so perhaps the right foot shoe is gonna do nothing for me as well. I don't know. That's that's gonna be a guess, let's see. Remember, I'm still trying to game this game the game here. I'm not gonna leave her hanging. Looks like she see, she looks like she's waiting for me. Hello, officer. The young okay, woman maybe raises not. a cigarette to her lips. She's Clage. A disco dancer. Her eyes are brown and her face is speckled with birthmarks. She can't be more than 28. Uh, no. Officer, am I military personnel? Got to read that out. <laughs> I'm guessing what I am. Wait, I know. I'm a businessman. Chief executive officer, right? The young woman shakes her head slowly. 
Okay, Chief Medical Officer? No, you're a police officer, sir. God damn right I'm a policeman, and don't you forget it. Okay, cool. I won't. <laughs> I'm an asshole. No need to be alarmed. I was just getting into character, you know. Okay. Whoa. Something wants to come out of you. A bit of vomit? Thankfully, you keep it down because your body does not control you. Oh, are these automatic checks? Okay, so that's what these... Okay. The one that says meaning of success. Oh, that's pretty cool. How did you know I'm a police officer? Sir, you've been here for three days. On official police business, as you put it. And what business is that? I couldn't say. In truth, Ooh. so far, mostly drinking. Highlighted special. Who in the right mind would let me be an officer of the law? Don't be so harsh on yourself. They let almost anyone be a police officer. Okay. With the type of world we live in, I gotta try this. Try the expression or let her know you you want her physically. Oh god. Uh I'm I'm good. I don't wanna sour this relationship. Of course. I might need her. Be careful, officer. They don't like the police around here. Something stirs in you as she's about to go. Call it an instinct, a need. The need to ask questions. It's like you've said the words a million times before. She looks back at you, a light glinting off her eyes. Hey, before you go, I have some questions for you. Yes? <laughs> what exactly is here? Where am I? You're in a hostel, sir. No, where are we? Where in the world? We are in Revishol. Revishol. Does that mean something you to me? You sure look like you're from Revishol. Revishol parties. Revishol parties. All right. What is it that, that they have against police? The here? dock workers are pretty cocky. They think they're police enough. At least here on the coast. I can't say about the rest of the city. Oh, your room is almost next to mine. Did you hear anything last night? There was the usual ruckus. Loud disco music. Did I have any visitors? I couldn't say. It's impossible to hear people speaking from over here. Room number three, all right. La, tell me something yeah. else. Tell me what year it's it is. It's 51. What century? The current century. Nice, the current century, all right. And that's what number? Centuries don't have numbers. They have names. And this is the current one. I see. How many centuries have there been then? Civilization has existed for 8,000 years, sir. That's so funny. You're right. There is nothing funny about civilization. Wow. Like you're ready. Okay, you can go now. Glad to have been of assistance. I think she likes me. Ooh. What's this? So she left a nice long snub in the ash right, it's still smoking. The calendar says it's March. The year is 51. Alright, we're gonna go. There's something on the table. Oh, we'll just take all the money on the table. Is that Rials? Like in Brazil? Yes, I went for the shoe. No, I said I didn't need it. I really want to know, though, if this... This completes a set. It does. Okay. So, some extra composure. Odorix base plus four. Okay, definitely. That seems kind of good. Oops. There they both are. Two identical shoes. Both copiously green and indiscriminately snakeskin. Reunited on your feet. 
Wait, these don't do not look like normal cops. It's pretty clear a normal cop is not what you are. Oh shit. You may be what they call a big dick cop. Nice. I am. That's me. Good. They're balanced. Comfy. <laughs> Feels like the only good thing about you right now, truth be told. Be a dick. Composure. I keep trying to use my WSD keys thinking they're gonna move the camera around like in other games. And just like messes up my motion here. You should pick that fat, juicy cigarette butt from the tray. Light it up and smoke the living shit out of it. Am I a smoker? Who knows what you are? <laughs> a monster. A murderer. <laughs> the gnome of Jeroma. You feel like a smoker. Especially when you look at that juicy, succulent. Seductive cigarette stub. Oh, he's selling still me. smoldering deliciously. But you broke out the filter. I can't smoke that. How very astute of you. This renders it ineffectual. You should look for a whole cigarette. Or better yet, an entire pack. Strike that. A carton. Make sure they're all healthy and able bodied. Then smoke them all. Jesus, my brain is. This is a bad influence. I'll make a priority one. Yes. Good. They'll make you stronger and better. You're too old to be cool now. But find cigarettes. Smoke them. Blam. Instantly a cool renegade man. A mystical red dragon with smoke rising from his nostrils. I like the sound of that. Plus, smoking them gives massive bonuses. Um. This is room three. I can't I can't really interact with it. Um, let's see if I bother against kind of options. The do I door get. is closed. Oh, this is room three. Wow, that song sounds familiar. It's for FIFA song. There is no answer. You hear the shower being turned on. Somewhere inside. Knock again. Still no answer. Knock again. Still Much harder. nothing. You should punch a fucking hole in it. I'm good at punching doors. Use my skills. I don't know. Sounds kind of weird to walk in on someone taking a shower, though. That's the murmur in your ears recedes slowly. Your breathing normalizes. That's one lucky door. It's one lucky door. <laughs> Active thoughts, alter dialogue. Does this automatically take me to the controls? I don't think I press anything. Time passes when picking new dialogue options. Read books to pass time quicker, all right? Active thoughts alter dialogue options. Thought bonuses differ for research and completion. Active thoughts alter. Thought bonuses differ for research and completion. Substances can be administered during dialogue. Tools are context sensitive. Equip them before use. Okay. The smooth substances can be administered during dialogue. Tools you have to equip them before use. Time passes and pick. Oh, we read this one. Gain experience by completing tasks by exploring, leveling up. Uh, level them grants you skill points. Use points to unlock skills or unlock. Or forget thoughts. <laughs> White ch skill checks can be rerolled. Explore options or level up to try again. Red skill checks are permanent. Okay. You can try sk some skill checks, but you need to level up to do it again. It, oh, it's like a bunch of tips. This is interesting. People are more forgiven to persons of power, like police officers. <laughs> Take dial options that begin with hold on or wait to gain additional information before the conversation moves on. The map tab in your journal lists all the white checks you can reattempt. Okay, skill attempts. Skill points can also buy new thought cabinet slots or forget old thoughts. Put up a flashlight in the light. Okay, low, low morale, put points in evolution. 
useful and helpful points in endurance. Police work is tough. Take breaks. Talk to strangers. Explore. You can sleep after 2100. Sleeping heals all your health and morale. Most people settle for bed after 2100 or not long after. At night, the streets are empty. By 0200, everyone's asleep. See a container you can't open. Whip a pry bar. Pry bar. Need to pass time? Buy a book. Reading passes time quickly. <laughs> okay. Revishol. Okay, fine. Ranhe. Ranhe and Klazia. Drugs raise learning cats, but they're bad for your health. Finally, once failed, the white checks can be retried by increasing the relevant skill. Oh, I see. Only white skill checks can be attempted again. Most checks have secret difficulty modifier modifiers. Talking to the right person can reopen a closed white check. For our money, equip a plastic bag, collect bottles, and sell them at street. You do something behind Lieutenant Kitsuragi's back, sneak out after he's gone to sleep. Alright. All the help I'm gonna get. It's the weekend edition of the satirical newspaper Trom Le Mans. Who's doing this? Oh, okay. Look at this. This is where the lyrics would be. <laughs> Big old karaoke mic, just waiting for someone to sing on it. The speakers connect to the radio. The music is seasoned with static. Talk to this man. A man in his late twenties stands behind the counter inspecting a stuffed seabird. As you approach, he gives you a sideways glance, then looks down again. Everything is cool between you and this guy. He's a big fan. Make some small talk. <laughs> this is the idea of small talk. Are you the bartender? Let's look at that stuffed bird. A competent work of taxidermy. The white and brown seabird lies among piles of coasters and drying mugs. One of its wings broken. The man is trying to mend it. Looks like the bird was ripped off the shield that was used to mount it, most likely on a wall. A small engraved steel tag says, The Great Skua. Stay Coarius Skua. Can I help you with that? Use my skills. Look, your buddy is over there. Looks at the doors where a man in a bomber jacket is tapping his foot Why on don't the floor. you go and talk to him, okay? What do you mean, my buddy? He guy? pretends not to hear you, concentrating on the bird instead. <laughs> Are you the bartender? No, I'm not the bartender. I'm the cafeteria manager. Ah. He's very animated all of a sudden. This seems like a touchy subject. You look like a bartender. That period of my life is over. Not everyone who stands behind a counter is a bartender, okay? I'm the cafeteria manager. What's the difference? I have three cafeterias to manage. Three. Sylvie right. tends the bar here, not me. I'm only standing in. Oh, so this is a bar. Screw you, guy. Where did this, where did this Sylvie go? She just, you know. I don't know. I'll just leave you alone. I'm, qu I'm quite annoyed. Oh, wait. Ah, I got a You should bubble. totally sing karaoke here. The first chance you get. Your emotions need to be expressed. People need to know your vast oceanic soul. He's a big dumb guy. My soul's immense. Utterly. And it needs to be heard through a PA system by other people <laughs> whether they like it or not Definitely. ram it up their ears says your adrenaline gland violently express yourself what should I sing when it comes to it you should sing the sad small church song from that tape you found thought it was obvious I was thinking maybe I should I could sing something happy get the crowd going no no don't sing the happy song it's stupid Sing the sad song. It's profound. That's an inland empire. You would need another copy of the tape first, though. 
The one upstairs is destroyed. Oh. See what this is? The menu has been wiped clean. Only the word Monday is written on it. This is a water cooler. A large bubble is rising to the surface. A gold. Wait, bubble. Bubble. The soft curve and electric juice that comes from the kitchen. Someone is working it. Okay. Do I just like open this? The door is bolted. A sign reads, kitchen reserved for personnel until 1300. Currently 08109. Inside you catch a glimpse of union paraphernalia. A strike poster, some red pennant. A sign reads, mess hall reserved for union members. Doors open, 16. Is this my buddy? Check this thing first. This royal pinball machine is unplugged. Hello. Hello, sweetie. Lena, the cryptozoologist's wife. You shouldn't keep your colleague waiting. I can keep him waiting. Who's he to me? This is my buddy. Ooh, journal. Oh yeah, we gotta find smokes. Smoke, smoke a lot of them. All right, fine. I'll, I'll talk to you. A bespectacled man in an orange bomber jacket is tapping his foot on the floor. Looks like he's waiting for someone. You. I don't like this guy. As you approach, he Not narrows his eyes and extends his hand in greeting. On the sleeve of his bomber jacket, as well as on its back, are the same enigmatic white rectangles as on your blazer. Okay, I'll shake his hand. Hello. I'm a nice guy. I'm Kim Kitsuragi, Lieutenant, Precinct 57. You must be from the 41st. You realize he's waiting oh, for your quick. name. I don't really know my name. Let's conceptualize. I'm, I'm going for it. Concentration makes you squint Works. your eyes. Your name should be deep gold and orange, like a forest fire looming on the horizon but mixed with the stench of liquor rising from your breath. You're two steps closer to it, but there are still many to go. It is not yet time. <laughs> it is not yet time. Okay, then. It looks like we had a little skidding error on Sunday. Saturday, too, actually. Have you had time to talk to the manager here? You mean him? I just talked to him. If you don't mind, we should talk to him again. Ask him for a rundown of the area. Now that I'm here as well. I understand the scene is out back, right? Sure. It also wouldn't hurt to assure him the police are finally here. In full force, I mean. Have you mapped out the initial interviews? I haven't. Okay. We'll have time for that after we take a look at the coroner's case. Have you removed the dead body from the tree? No. So, the body is still in the tree. You heard me. Where it has been hanging for seven days straight. We should go there as soon as we are done talking to the owner. What a shame. Good, good idea. Get to it now. Rip that body down from the tree. Don't worry about that body. After I'll it's rip been it down up in the tree for that long, big any kind of ripping is inadvisable. Oh. Delicate goods, filled with stinking horrors. What were we supposed to do Talk again? Talk to the manager. Then we go out back oh. and take the body down. I thought there'd be more to it other than that. Right, After going. you, officer. If you're about to embark on an investigation, shouldn't you have a badge? Dude, I'm passing up all these. You mean you don't have genius. a badge? Who needs points in any of this stuff? It was an army Losing your up. identification card is a serious matter. Oh, My vehicle has a shortwave. You can use it to report your badge missing. I advise you to try to locate it as quickly as possible. But getting the body down should still take precedence. Oh my gosh, the list of things we gotta do. Oh, it is run. 
Oh, wow, okay. The further out I click, the faster I go. What are these things? Health? Okay, because I imagine two different health bars then. Or two different resource bars of some kind. A character sheet. Oh, I don't have the requirement. Alright. I didn't look at all this stuff yet. Stuff to do already. All right, let's talk to him. The man with the unimpressive beard notices you approaching. He drops the ledger he was holding and turns to the lieutenant. Mr. Gart, right? You're yes. Oops, I thought he was done. The lieutenant glances to his little notebook. He run this place? Yes. I am Kim Kitsuragi from Prison 57. This is an inter-district investigation, so joining me from Prison 41? <laughs> this golden orange like a force part, but smells like liquor. I, I earned this dialogue option, probably. Are you kidding me? No, man, help me out. What is golden, golden orange that smells like liquor? It's you. It's obviously you. You smell like liquor, <laughs> and you're orange. See? Understood. Everyone agrees it's your color scheme. We're on the right track with this name thing. Nice. Is this what you get when you call the police now? We've been waiting for a week here. Sir, I understand your concern, but we are here to do a job. And for us to do it, I need you to stay calm. Like, I like him. I like him. He's, yes, he's growing on me. Yes, of course. I know it took us a while to arrive at the scene, but it also took you a while to call us. It was you who placed the call, correct? No, I only just got here. It was probably Sylvie who called you. She usually works the bar here. I'm only temporarily taking over her duties. Do you have her number? As a matter of fact, I do. This sounds like something you can use to call this Sylvie later. You said you just got here. From where? Are you a local? What, of Martinez? No, I live in Jamrock. I only sometimes come here to keep an eye on the place. This is just one of the many, many cafeterias I manage. All, all three of them? But you still know your way around, yes? In case we need directions. Yes, I know where some things are, but as I said, I don't live here. I just used to work here. And I'm not going to start working here again, if that's what you think. I didn't imply that. Detective. <laughs> Who, me? Yes. I have everything. You? Oh, you mean do I have questions? Yes, yes. He means, do you have questions for me, like a police officer would? Where exactly is the body? Behind this building, there's a courtyard. They hoisted him up on a tree there. And how do we get there then? That's easy. See that door there? First you exit through that. Then to your right, you should see a big hole in the fence. A really big one. You can get to the courtyard through there. No need for the keys. The hole is big enough for the Franco-Nigerian cavalry to fit through. I don't know what that is. Franco-Nigerian cavalry. Who killed him? I don't know who killed him. I'm not the police. That's your <laughs> job. He doesn't know. No. He just said they maybe, maybe hoisted him up on a tree. Who is this they? That's right. Who is this they? Before he said they hoisted him up on a tree, who do you mean by they? Uh, oh, people are saying it was the Union dock workers. That it was a lynching. Who exactly is saying that? The locals, the customers, the people who eat here. A lot of dock workers eat here. Sylvie told me everyone knows the dog workers did it. Did the debarders themselves do the this, dog or is it a rumor? I don't really know. You'll have to ask her. Why would the dock workers lynch this man? I would suppose it's because they have nothing better to do. You mean the strike? Yes, the strike. The man they hanged was a security guard for the harbor company, I hear. A mercenary. The Unionists probably thought they'd send a message. Did you what kill him? What are you, crazy? Of course I didn't kill him! I 
Gonna Suddenly you. he tense up. Blood is being pushed to your muscles. You should hound him on this. Hound him hard. The prey drive says. I mean, I gotta use my skills when I can, right? No, you kill I didn't. Gart? Garte? Gart? You can tell me, Gart, you killed him, right? I didn't. I don't appreciate this. What is this? Why did you have to kill him? Do I have to answer him? <laughs> is this mandatory? The lieutenant stands motionless. His expression unreadable. Did he hurt you? Is that why? Did you get some kind of sick kick out of killing him? What are you, an idiot? I told you I haven't killed anyone. Anyone? Have you killed someone else then? He ignores you. <laughs> More. Press on. Push through. Did you kill Fuck Sylvie? Fuck you, man. That's enough. <laughs> yeah, not entirely convinced me. Okay, you know, I'll, I'll laugh. Okay, I believe you. Thank you ever so much. Hey, I got some experience for that. <laughs> Being a douchebag. I have another the question. lieutenant turns the page in the little notebook he's been scribbling in. Why did Sylvie go she away? She went away because none of your business. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to go back to accusing of killing people. The second time you've avoided this subject. Oh my god, what is your obsession with this Sylvie person? Get over it. Can I ask this she again? She went away because none of your business. He gives me the two options again. What if I say, what if I say fine? Let's That's go. all. Wow. Significant, right? Not so fast. You owe me 130 real. Ooh. See if I can, see if I can slip away. Seven. Forgot how to pronounce it again. Savoir faire. Savoir faire. That's savoir faire away, away from here. <laughs> That's savoir faring away. As you blow this joint, behind you, a whiny voice shouts. <laughs> Real mature, man. Real mature. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so nearing the hour, I think that's a good stopping point for this, where before I go back, take down bodies, report my missing badges, and things like this. Um, If you made it this far, thanks for watching. I look forward to playing more of this. This has been absolutely hilarious, and I'm enjoying every bit of it. Um, it's almost as good as 12 minutes, I'll give it that. Um, but until then, uh, I guess until next week, I'll see you then.